Oh no! <laughs> Today we're going to be learning about and breaking down some of the crazy medical type situations and injuries of A Thousand Ways to Die. I've definitely heard of this show, but I can't say that I've actually seen any of these episodes before. But according to the internet, A Thousand Ways to Die is an American TV series that recreated unusual supposed deaths true events, and debunked urban legends. Before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doctor. If you enjoy the educational reaction videos and other stuff you see here on this channel, please smash that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. But let's wait a second. Today we're doing something a little special. Today I'm doing a collaboration with... Everybody, this is my wife, Jen. Check her out. Hi. Well, Jen, why are you here today? <laughs> I may know a thing or about A Thousand Ways to Die. I may or may not have been on this show. Seriously? Yeah. I can't believe you didn't know that I, about me. Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm actually, I think, really nervous, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the medical side of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, that's you. I love it. Yes, oh my and gosh. I'm scrubbing the floor like... <laughs> was making Cherry pay it off by being his personal slave. Duke did everything he could to make Cherry's time there a living hell. Evidently this was a bad guy and he was making me scrub up all the motorcycle juices and oils. Jen knows how to drive a motorcycle. She rides a motorcycle on TV. You need to check that out. She does everything related to like automotive stuff. It's crazy. You missed a spot. Oh, what a jerk. Dump. And how much gasoline comes pouring out of a little engine that you didn't actually empty before you brought it into the house? Listen, I don't know. I was just paid to scrub the floor. <laughs> Taking dumps was the one thing Duke excelled at. <laughs> Nobody could let it fly. Oh, no! Don't let your fart on fire! Take a turd for the worse. Oh. While Duke what? Out, Cherry cleaned up the spilled gasoline. <gasps> I feel like I should have been wearing a mask though. So you can get the fumes from the gasoline. It can make you more lightheaded than anything. It's not typically gonna displace too much um, oxygen off your red blood cells to make you like pass out, that sort of thing. Without thinking, she dumped Whoa, it in the boat. Oh, Jerry! Forgot to flush. Don't piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't light anything on the toilet. You know what hit the fan. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That is awesome. Some of you out there might know. So you have gasoline and then fire. I don't think it typically explodes. I think it lights on fire. So you'll burn your buttocks. A thousand ways to die, but would he have died? I mean, he blew no. off the pot. No, he, he might have, have had blown. serious butt issues. He would have had some pretty bad burns, but he wouldn't have blowed up. And hey, you never know. He could have actually melted his butthole to where he couldn't actually poop again through his butthole. What? And they, when your skin gets so hot, it melts and then it seals back together. An armored truck is like armored a trucks. bank on wheels. At least, that's what first timers Eddie and Tyrone. Eddie and Tyrone. Up to some bad business. First, they picked a busy street and a pedestrian called it in. That is not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a shootout just starts right away. Holy cow. Being caught in a firefight with cops was not part of their- Get down. Oh yeah, run for cover. While Tyrone stood his ground and shot it out, Eddie turned tail and hid inside the armored truck. Just ditched his buddy. Tyrone took one in the oh, chest. Oh no, Tyrone got shot. Was he wearing like body armor, anything like that? That's my question. Well, first of all, you see gunshots all the time. He right. works at a major trauma center in LA and you see gunshots like on the daily. Daily. Somebody takes it in the chest like Tyrone does. Then the question ends up being hemothorax, pneumothorax, broken bones. Does it hit your heart? Does it hit any of the major vessels? Does the person have a pulse? Can they breathe? Multiple different factors on determining what we end up doing. He should have died, but didn't. Thanks to his Ooh. five times stronger than steel Kevlar bulletproof Ooh. vest. When you're actually wearing Kevlar and it blocks the bullet, it, well, it could still cause fracture. Fracture can then puncture your lung. So you still have issues that you do need to worry about. He stupidly peeked out the door just when his partner got drilled. The impact of the bullet sent Tyrone flying backwards into the door and snapped his neck, which closed on Eddie's oh, neck. Oh, no! 
come on, he was a coward. So the force of Tyrone falling backwards, he basically snapped his neck. Now, but the question ends up being, can you really snap your neck that well and die? Mm -hmm. I had a friend, I true story, uh, in college I had a friend, who was in a car accident and internally decapitated yeah. and survived yep. and still has some issues, obviously residual issues with that, but internally decapitated. Yeah. I'd never heard of that before. Right, so basically you're severing your spinal cord without taking your head off. In this case, you're gonna have to have like a C1, C2 fracture that just knocks off basically that area of the spinal cord because you can't really survive above, you know, two, three, if, if the spinal cord gets severed. It has to be with, deal with spinal cord injury, not fracture of the neck. Verdict, do you think this guy would have died getting it slammed? Negative. Negatory, I don't know. It had to be like the weirdest situation like in the most... world. Every star aligned and planet aligned in the universe. Show me how to use your dart. <laughs> yeah, give me that. All right, you put this up. We got lawn darts? This I love lawn either. darts. All right, all right, I'll show you how. What do we got, Mar Mario? Is this the <laughs> Luigi brother? <laughs> <gasps> oh no! I was not ready for oh. I was not prepared for that. Nice. So he was distracted, threw it up in the air. What was that? I don't know how high he could potentially throw it up, but 10 feet, 20 feet, and then gravitational forces coming down. Can this happen? Does it go into the head? It's really hard to go through bone. It's really even hard just to stab somebody in the skull with a knife to go through. So uh, this was like, again, another perfect scenario. And it might have happened if this is based on a true story. What a freak way to go out. But then the question is, can you, would you die? The heavy metal tip dart came down with enough speed and force to work its Ooh. way through Matt's skull. Pit. Whoa, the, the, the fiction is great. Two and exited out the bridge of his nose. Oh. Death came instantaneously. Wow, so cool. Ah, Probably really gross terrible. for you. <laughs> that is awesome and sad at the same time. So that must have been the sharpest lawn dart on the planet. It must have hit specifically on the side, going straight through and hitting the frontal part of your brain. Depends on where it actually hit and what's it causing. Is it causing bleeding in the brain, which caused him to die, but injuring the brain tissue probably didn't cause him to die unless it's hitting into deep parts of the brain that have to do with basic functions of living. So would he have died? Verdict? Verdict, uh, potential. Maybe. Yeah. I don't have money to cover all this. Whoa. It was broke. I told you, she is not- Um, that's my first husband. Oh, first husband. This guy was my first husband <sighs> on television. What the <laughs> the last thing he needed to see was a con artist like Cecilia working Cecilia and running up his credit card. Oh, so Cecilia is doing the dresses. Now! You know hey. what? You're a loser and you don't deserve her. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. you're a loser. He kicked Sponge Bitch out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Sponge Bitch! And Cecilia went from milking rich people dry oh! to getting poor. She's gonna suffocate. <gasps> Also would help if she could swim a little bit better. Right, so don't flail. Flail don't, making I feel it like worse. it's like quicksand. I feel yeah. like the more you move, the worse you're making it. Right. That's so bad. You can't move when that's happening. Poor girl. Poor Cecilia. Well. Okay, but pool drama. Yeah. Can you die? 100%. And how would you die from that? 100%. So I feel like this was the least likely. No, this is the most likely. What? Yeah, so basically if no one's around, if you can't keep your head above water and you continue to fight, you're gonna have a drowning. You're asphyxiating, it's a horrible way to so go. So you are running out of oxygen because of the plastic or because of the water or a mixture of both? Not the plastic. Plastic is like making your inability to get out, mm. but the water is causing the problem. Well, thanks for having me on. I love it, this was awesome. Do you guys wanna see her more on my show? I think we should have her on more to react to some crazy stuff. I have my own YouTube as well, Gear Girl. I'm launching a new channel, so definitely please do me a solid and subscribe what, to my channel. What is well. Gear Girl? What it's is, like what is it? cool tech things. If you like cars, if you like planes, if you like gear, I like expensive cars. I, lo I love it. Which you already know. Yes. <laughs> That's why I work a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That kidding. is not true. I'm just kidding. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on, that way you get to be notified when a new video drops. And check out these videos as well. All right, thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends. Bye.